Okay guys, we're here at the mall early. Um, I don't know if there's gonna be anybody here. If there's not, we're definitely gonna go into a Hot Topic and see if they have a chase, which there's nobody here. Interesting. Okay, promising. Maybe we'll wait it out and we'll see. So we're sitting here, I think it's like 9, 9.43. So we got like 17 minutes until open. I know that's probably not a super sought after chase, but there's Venomized Pops coming out today too. So I'm, I'm kind of surprised that nobody's here. I don't know, we'll see. So here's a fun sign. It says no uh, scavenger hunts. Do you think that applies to us? I don't know. A few moments later. Oh, it's okay, not a big deal. Yeah, sorry guys. No, you're good. No worries. Yeah, right, let's check it out. I got this guy. You want that one, right? Yeah, I do. There's another one that I want to. Wonder if they have more. All right, guys. So they're still grabbing pops and everything, but they've got a Cinderella over here. They also have a Ian Lightfoot from uh, Onward. Super excited about this movie. Should be really cool. Um, but like I said, they're grabbing more, so we're gonna check out the other ones. Okay guys, and so they pulled out one of the chases, which it might be one of the uh, most laziest chases out there, but uh, still pretty cool. It's the unicorn. I think the only thing different on it is it's like blue glittered on the horn, but you know, it's a chase nonetheless, and I haven't done this forever, so. Um, and then we also have a barely, barley? Barley Lightfoot, and I'm gonna get him too. We're gonna get the three for 27 on that, so that's pretty cool. Hey guys, we have a couple of other onward pops here. We have a Wilden Lightfoot. Um, which is pretty cool. I think from the show they like try and bring his dad back. He's like invisible, but they put clothes on him So he looks real. They also have the the manticore as well So that is a really fun one um, But yeah, and then they had some venomized stuff over there too. Um, another couple really cool ones. They have some happy Gilmore pops I love Bob Barker and happy Gilmore That's really awesome. And then they have Chubbs, Otto. I didn't even know this guy had a name until a pop was created for him, but also Billy Madison. So anyways, guys, but we're going to pick up our three here and uh, call it good there. Okay, guys, so we got our pops at Hot Topic. We're going to head into Box Lunch and see what they've got. So let's check out and see what uh, new pops they have. They have a uh, Billy Madison. They have some of the Backstreet Boys. Um, they also have Pennywise Meltdown. That's creepy looking. Um, what else? They have a live action Mulan. They also have Batmite. That's pretty cool. Smokey the Bear. Um, nothing too crazy. I bet there's some more. Oh, there's also a shopkeeper from it. That's cool. Um, what else do they have over here? They have a uh, Gumby, which I don't think I ever really watched that show, but I know who Gumby is. That's pretty sweet. Um, some Marvel 80 Years Pops, Lee Shang, Bad Boys. Those are pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, guys, that's what's uh, new here at Box Lunch. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got down in the mall, and I feel like we come here every week, but we're going to Entertain Mart. Let's see what they've got. And we always check out this case, but I don't really see anything different. Um, some Game of Thrones, they still have that Deadpool back there, Speed Racer Chase. Um, they also have, what else do they have in here? I thought I saw something new. They have a Rocky Horror Picture Show, Columbia. That's a fun pop. Um, but if we're looking over here at just the normal stuff, I'm looking for a couple of, uh, what do you call those, Funko Specialty Series of a couple of Spider-Man characters. And I don't know if they have them. I'll have to look around and see what they've got, but we're looking for a Kingpin and Electro. I always check out what's over here. This one's kind of interesting. This is the the Huntress. The front's a little messed up and so is the box, but for 10 bucks for an older pop, that's actually not pretty bad. Um, and then, let's see, I'm, I'm hoping that they have those specialty series figures here, but I don't know. I feel like I've seen them here once, but they might have sold out already. But anyways, guys, as far as what's new, this all looks like the same stuff that was here when I was here not that long ago. Um, but yeah, let's keep uh, keep looking around. Hopefully we can track those down, we'll have to see. Did find a Funko Specialty Series, but it's the Human Torch. That, I think it's from Westworld. It's actually right here. But it's like another version of that guy. Anyways, but yeah, we found this Specialty Series. Hopefully we can find the other ones. No luck so far. They have a, this guy from Supernatural, which is Sam. That one's an older one. Pretty cool that they have that in. Um, but yeah, no luck so far. Um, here's like their clearance section. I always check this out to see. They have a couple of uh, pops back here. They have Daredevil. Daredevil and Deathstroke. Unmasked. Hmm. That's 
pretty cool. All right, guys, we are back from that little hunt. So I just wanted to show you the couple pops that we ended up getting. You, you probably already know, but I wanted to show you up in detail. So one of the pops that we ended up getting were some of the Onward ones, and we have right here, we have Ian Lightfoot. So let's take a closer look at him out of the box. All right, guys, so there you go. There is Ian Lightfoot. So if you guys didn't know, Onward, it's the new movie coming out. Um, with Pixar and um, I, I really don't know much about it. It's kind of like mythical creatures and like a modern setting Basically, that's about all I really know about it But I love Pixar and I wanted to get these pops So this actually looks really cool. So if we look at the detail on this guy, he's got some crazy cool looking hair um, I like his little staff and they've got like that little uh, if it wants to focus on there They have like that little um, like clear thing in his staff or whatever It's kind of like looking like a clear like crystal or rock of some sort uh, but anyways, I, I, I honestly think, you know, Funko's done a really good job with like molds and stuff. And that looks a lot like the character that is going to be, you know, in the show. Um, and then if we look in the box, you know, you got all the different characters and stuff. Kind of like medieval kind of design and whatnot. Um, with like the stars and stuff. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so there is pop number one. We have Ian Lightfoot. Pretty cool stuff. Next up, we have Barley Lightfoot. So he's the brother to this guy right here, Ian. So uh, let's take a closer look at him out of box. All right, guys, so there you go. There's Barley. I almost said barely, but that's not really how you say his name. Um, a lot of fun details on this guy. I love his little stubble. Um, I love it when Funko does that. They do like the little, uh, little line marks and everything, but there's some really cool detail on this pop. Um, I think like with the little patches on his jacket, it's similar to the patches that are here on the box, um, but it looks really cool. He's got a little book right there it says uh, quests on it so Funko did a really good job he's got his little beanie oh and he's also got that little uh, fire emblem on the back of his jacket too um, so that is really really cool so there you go guys there is Barley and if you guys didn't know this guy's voiced by Chris Pratt this guy is voiced by Tom Holland so there you go there's the two brothers next I mean arguably probably one of the worst chases starting off 2020 but you know it's a chase nonetheless and it's an exclusive chase too we have the hot topic exclusive chase a uh, unicorn oh my gosh guys there, there's a whole rant that i could go on for this but uh let's take a look at it and there you guys go there is the uber crazy most detailed chase of all time unicorn but not really guys i mean a chase is a chase and i i think it's fun to find stuff like that for videos and whatnot but sometimes these chases can get a little ridiculous um obviously the only difference between this and the normal one you can see is that glitter blue horn um so i i don't really know what to tell you guys on that one but anyway so that is um only difference with this guy so but i mean overall rant though i mean funko makes these chases you know there was one that just barely came out uh, with like happy gilmore and stuff that like he's missing a couple fingers or whatnot but uh i don't know anyways i in my opinion this could probably be the worst chase up with that chubbs chase for 2020 but let me uh, let me know what you guys think i don't know still uh, overall pretty cool pop there's some good details good on the sculpt and everything but anyways guys uh there's I ended up getting. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Um, are you excited for the movie Onward? Have you picked up any of these pops lately? Did you get this really super rare, hard to get chase? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Guys, thank you so much for watching again. You guys are the best. Remember to be kind to one another and always promote positivity. And I'll see you in the next video. Catch you guys later.